Good day to everyone. I am Marian Joyce Aliaga from BSIP2A. I'm gonna show you how to pair to pair connection. First, open the Cisco Packet Tracer. So, by the way, guys, I have already set up na para hindi mo consume at a time. So, it teach man taka mo. To just click the end devices, PC, then PC. The connection is the crossover. Naman crossover ang atan nga connection. So, crossover cables are mostly used for connecting similar devices. So, so the co computer to computer is already example of the crossover because they are similar to each other. So, to declare this IP address, desktop, IP configuration, then type lang ang iyang IP address. Delete ko lang ni siya. Let's go back here. So, ang um, example is PC to PC, PC to laptop, and laptop to laptop. So, I'm gonna show you if connected sila nga dalawa. Declare, kata sa command prompt, and declare. Before we proceed to the declaring the IP address, let me first know the IP address of your PC. Yes, muna ang iya nga IP address ang PC1. Then, next, i-declare na to ng IP address for the PC2. Kasi e, syempre siya ang aton nga i-connect. Nag-reply siya. It means ang aton nga PC1 to PC2 is already connected. So, the, how about the PC2 to the PC1? Connect sila. So, nag-reply siya. It means, connected sila nga dalawa. Next, for the PC to the laptop. Nag-reply siya. It means ang PC1 is already connected for the laptop. So, ang laptop naman. So, nag-reply siya. It means ang atin yung laptop is already connected for the PC1. Next, for laptop to laptop. I-check natin if connected sila. Nag-reply siya, it means ang atin niya laptop 1 is already connected for the laptop 2. Next is laptop 2 to laptop 1.
So, nag-reply siya. So, successful ang ilang nga connection. Connected sila. Kasi syempre, per-to-per connection. Same sila sa devices. So, crossover ang ginggamit because they are similar they are similar devices. So, let's proceed to the next um, a simple DHCP mode. So, the first step for this is declare, declare mo lang ni ang server. Server, the switch, the PC1, and the laptop 2. Imo lang na siya sa pangitaong diri sa iyang uh, devices. Kaya si Dalong. Then, the first step for this is um, iset mo na sa desktop ang IP configuration niya. Muna ang IP configuration for the server. Then, next, click kita sa server. Kaya pun, for the, click the services. The DHCP on dapat 2 and 5. Then, save. Tawari na siya. That's it. Ex exit. Then, proceed kita sa laptop. 2. So, the DHCP siya. May nagwa is 1.2. Amo ni e ang iyang IP address. Then, let's proceed for the command from to check na ton kung tama ang iyang IP address. Yes, muna ang iyang IP address. So, Next is the PC. So, mani ang dapat DHCP. 192.168.13 Yes, mani ang iya nga IP address and the subnet. X lang siya. Proceed. Kada kita sa server, i-check, i-double check natin if connected gigman sila. Kag wala sang error sa ilang connectivity. Nag-reply siya. It means ang aton nga server is connected for the for the laptop. Another one is PC. Nag-reply siya. It means connected sila sa server. So, i-check natin ang sa laptop, ang server, kung connected din man. Nag-reply siya. It means connected ang atong server. Let's go with the laptop. So, nag-reply siya. It means successful ang connectivity. Connected sila sa server. Tanan. Ang ato niya, PC kag ang laptop. So, ginagamit natin ang straight through because it is a cables are mainly used for connecting non-similar devices. So, the, this is the example of how 
a simple layered sweeping move by using straight through. Um, this this is a straight through and this is the cross over. It is a pair to pair connection and a simple DS shipping move. Simple lang sila himuot. And that's it guys. Welcome to my uh, thank you for watching and welcome din sa pagblantaw. Bye guys. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.